okay so let me be very clear about something yeah i don't really know much i know i said that in the last video mm-hmm. but i genuinely don't know much and and that's part of the reason why i'm doing this podcast because i want to learn i understand that there's a lot i don't know i also mm-hmm. understand that when you're learning from experts and you're speaking to people there's multiple different opinions and mm-hmm. i don't mind that i'm willing to take it all in because that's how you form your own opinion by hearing all these different aspects as to why why the problem exists or what we can possibly do to solve it i'm cool with not knowing a lot and learning i would hope that by going on this journey whoever's listening mm-hmm. in with the podcast would also want to be going on that journey so yeah, yeah that's definitely it's, it's definitely to make knowledge more accessible but also have practical ways we can support the development of the african nation and the people of the global majority in general i guess what i was thinking was that your academic background is not in history sociology or politics or anything like this right no no it's in tech and engineering yeah. I think that's really useful. Because I failed to get us on live. No, no, no. No, No, not at all. I just think sometimes people might have an idea that whilst I'm talking to you, sometimes from my psychology lens, sometimes just from Samara curiosity, it's good for them to know that this journey is something that you've done quite independently. I see. Yeah. So all of the learning that you've done around geopolitics is because of what you've witnessed growing up and then having to learn that yourself and what you're trying to do I suppose is also make that easier for other people because it's not always easy when we're thinking geopolitics not everybody is going to go out of their way especially mm-hmm. when on a day to day people are just surviving mm. so that's why I thought that was helpful I hear you and I think my next question would be you say Africa like we know that the focus is mainly on the African continent mm mm-hmm. It reminds me of the conversation we had about India's GDP versus Africa's mm-hmm. and I wanted you to share that a bit more with others because I don't think I ever considered that so it might be useful for others to know too. I rem- I remember what I said. Mhm. But I just don't understand the point that we're trying to get at. <laughs> Why is so important because you talk about Africa as being at the bottom of let's just say the hierarchy in terms yeah. of why it's so important specifically to focus on the african nation and what about all the other countries that have been colonized in the past i see african yeah. nations mm. but mm-hmm. okay so, so, so. yeah sorry <laughs> apologies please do not hate no, on me for fine. that <laughs> so when i'm actually talking about african nations i'm talking about all african nations yes mm-hmm. but in particular black african nations mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and black people gl- globally are the ones that are, are the most obvious mm. if we're looking at the complete bottom of the pyramid if we're looking at the how structures work and respects and all this kind of stuff um it's black people are more visible because of our skin tone mm-hmm. if we're looking at black african nations we don't have any levers to pull when we talk about economic power mm-hmm. like egypt they're in africa mm-hmm. but they have levers to pull mm-hmm. they have the suez canal they have they have quite a big army they have all these different things that they can use to basically do things on the world stage so if they have to deal with huge mm-hmm. countries like the USA UK the west basically they have levers to pull with that but whereas we don't have any of that when you talk about india india has huge economic power they definitely have problems too but they have a lot going for them i think the reason i brought that up is because when we were having that conversation you were comparing the two you were like there's also been colonization in india and everything like that and then that's when i said india's gdp mm-hmm. was actually like 3. something trillion mm-hmm. us dollars if you compare that to africa's gdp which i'm going to do right now yeah <laughs> you see that <laughs> that's crazy according to google mm-hmm. africa's gdp was estimated at around 3.1 trillion dollars in mm-hmm. 2023 and india's alone was 3.4 trillion mm-hmm. so india's gdp alone mm-hmm. is higher than the entire continent Quantum. africa yeah. yeah so i i guess that's why i was trying to make that argument that my main focus is really just trying to get africa up yeah. and to increase that yeah. increase that power in some way what can we do to increase that power that's my quest i'm trying to figure out how can we become powerful too <laughs> yeah well, that's really helpful i don't think people look at it through that lens so it's good to highlight mm-hmm.